everybody, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this stocking. It's perfect for holiday gift giving and putting lots of Christmas gifts inside, but it's not real big either. I think it's the perfect size because it measures about 10 inches long and you can put lots of goodies in there and you can whip a bunch of these up just going through your yarn stash and coming up with some fun colors. As you can see, this one is done in traditional and this one is done in non-traditional colors. Both of them I made using leftover yarns. And we'll talk more about yarns when we get a little farther on in the video. Now, this crochet pattern is on my blog and as always, you can find that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make our gift stocking, you're going to need about two and a half ounces total of a medium weight number four yarn. This one is done with the Hirschner's candy cane yarn and it is a striping yarn. This one is made with that frosted yarn, but it was left over from a previous project. So I got in my stash and I decided to use these two colors. This is the white fleck. You can see it has lots of different flecks in it. And I'm going to use this one for the toes, the heel, and the band of my stocking. And then I'm going to use this blue. This is Red Heart with Love, I believe but I'm not sure. I do know they're both medium weight acrylic yarns, number four. And so I'm just putting these together, working through some of my stash and making some fun stockings for gift giving. And I'm also going to show you how to add a little tassel very easily. We're also going to need our H hook today, 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in ends and your scissors. So, just to be clear, any medium weight number four yarn that you have in your stash will work and you'll need a total of two and a half ounces. We're going to be starting at the toe of our stocking. So we're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain five chains. We're going to join this chain five into a circle. So I'll put the tail of yarn over my hook and pull it through. We'll snug that down and just tie that little stay knot. If you would prefer to use the magic circle here, you certainly can. All right, we're gonna put our hook in that chain five circle, pull up a loop and chain three. This chain three counts as our first double crochet. And we're going to stitch 11 more double crochets in this chain five circle. So our chain three counts as one and I've stitched one, so I need to stitch 10 more. Double crochet is yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. And so we need a total of 12 double crochets. All right, let's see how many I've stitched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this one is twelve. Now remember, we count that chain three as our first, and then we stitch eleven more double crochets for a total of twelve. We're going to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch, and we'll go ahead and chain three. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and close up this hole and weave this in. And that's because as you're working your stocking, it's going to be a little more difficult to get down inside and close that up. I mean, it's not impossible. I just want to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> All 
right, so I've pulled on that string, I've closed up that hole, and now I'm weaving in. We don't want any holes in the middle of our stocking. What if our goodies come out? <laughs> All right, nice and snug. Clip that off. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> so I have 12 double crochets. I joined with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three and chained three for row one. Now for row two, we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of our double crochets around. We want to stitch one double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three, and then two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. And we'll continue to do this all the way around and join back to our chain three. So for row two, we're stitching two double crochets in each of our double crochets around and joining back to our chain three. I stitched two double crochets in each of the double crochets around. Row one, we had 12. Row two, we have 24. We're going to join to the top of our chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now for row three, we're going to place one double crochet in each of those 24 double crochets. So here's our chain three that counts as our first. So we'll go in the next stitch and stitch a double crochet. One double crochet in each of those double crochets around. And as you stitch this row, you'll notice that it will start to come in and form the shape of the toe of our stocking. Oops, there we go. Some of those flex sometimes cause little strings to get caught. All right, now see how that's starting to come in and form the toe of our stocking? It's going to curl for you. We want to curl it that way because this is the outside. So, one double crochet in each of those double crochets around and join back to our chain three. I stitched one double crochet in each of those double crochets around. So we still have 24 double crochets because we didn't add or subtract any stitches. We're going to join in that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And now for row four, <clears throat> we're just going to repeat what we did for row three. One double crochet in each of those double crochets around. And I think you can already see the toe of our stocking. One double crochet in each of those double crochets all the way around and join back to our chain three. Again, I have stitched one double crochet in each of those stitches around, so I have 24 double crochets. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch, only I'm not going to chain three. If you are not changing colors, go ahead and chain three, but I'm going to change to my blue. So I'm going to stitch my chain three after the color change. If you're changing colors, you want to do your chain three after the color change, or you end up with one stitch, the previous color, and our chain three counts as one double crochet. All right, now I'm going to stitch over these a little bit, and then I can come back in and weave that in. What we're going to do is we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next 17 double crochets. All right. And our chain three counted as one, and we're going to stitch 17, so we'll have a total of 18. So one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and move those out of the way now. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So I have 18 double crochets, counting my chain three, and these last one, two, three, four, five, six stitches we're going to leave unworked. All right, and then we'll go ahead and chain three. We chained three, we're going to turn our work and stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets across. Now our chain three counted as our first, and so we'll have 18 all together again. And what we're doing here is forming the bottom part or the foot of our stocking. One double crochet in each of those double crochets working all the way around and you'll have 18 double crochets. and chain three. You see how we're forming the bottom? Here's our toe, and then here is the middle section that we're forming. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat row six for four more rows. Chain three, turn, one double crochet in each double crochet around, chain three, turn, and repeat for four more rows for the center section of our stocking foot. I've repeated up through row 10, one double crochet in each of those 18 double crochets. Now on row 10, I went ahead and changed back to my toe color of yarn because I want the heel of my stocking to be the same color as my toe. And remember, when you're changing colors, do your chain three after your color change. All right, so now we're going to do row 11. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next six. Whoops. <laughs> Here's our chain three and then one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. Six plus our chain three is seven stitches. We're going to stitch the next two stitches together. It's called stitching a double crochet decrease or stitching two double crochets together. So yarn over, go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook instead of the normal three. Yarn over and go through the first three. Yarn over and go through the second two. And what we've done is we've decreased by one stitch. And we're going to do that one more time. This is going to cause the heel of our stocking to round just a little bit. And now we're going to stitch in those last stitches. One double crochet in each. And don't forget to place one in that chain three. Now 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus our 2 double crochet decreases, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 double crochets. So that brings us down to 16 double crochets instead of 18. We're going to chain 3 and turn. Now we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next five double crochets. And with our chain three, that gives us six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to repeat what we did on the previous row and stitch two sets of double crochet decreases or stitching two double crochets together. So yarn over, go in, pull up our loop, go in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the three, yarn over and go through the two. And then we'll repeat that. And then one double crochet in those last stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're only going to chain one. And you can see how it's pulled in <clears throat> if you look at it you can see that it's curving up. So now we need to close the heel of our stocking. This is the outside and what we're going to do is we're going to take it and turn so that we're going to be stitching on the inside. If it's easier for you to understand you can flip this out but I usually don't. I just leave it like this and we're going to slip stitch the back of the heel together. Once you get down to the bottom, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn and we're going to slip stitch back up. And this is just to get us back up to the top of the heel so we don't have to cut our yarn and reattach. All right, so we're just slip stitching back up. Let me get that in there. There we go. Oops. <laughs> All right, and then once we get to the top, we're going to take our hook and join to the top and just chain one for now and make sure you do it kind of tight and then you can flip that heel back over. All right, so here is what the bottom portion of our stocking looks like. Here's our toe and here's our heel and the center portion of our stocking. I'm going to be changing colors on this row so I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn and bring in my blue. If you're not changing colors just go ahead and chain three. Go ahead and snug that down. Alright now what we need to do is from the end all the way up to here we need to place 18 double crochets. Our chain three counts as our first and we're going to be stitching along this edge that doesn't have any stitches for us to stitch in and so my best recommendation is to try to stitch in the sides of those stitches and not the holes. Go 
forgot to yarn over. There we go. This is going to give you the best look for your stocking. And you need to stitch from the chain three to this right here before you reach the front stitches, 18 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've stitched 18 double crochets, and that brings me to those six double crochets in the front. So we'll stitch one in each of those double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we stitch six across the front. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we'll repeat over here what we did over here. We need 18 double crochets evenly spaced across this side of our stocking. We stitched 18 double crochets on the side, six where we had six double crochets, and then we stitched 18 on this side as well. So 18 plus six plus 18 is 42 double crochets, and that's the amount that you need for this row. And we're going to join to our chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And now we're going to begin stitching up the leg of our stocking. Our chain three counts is our first, and we're going to stitch four more double crochets. All right, now the next stitch, we're going to stitch a front post double crochet. And what that means is instead of stitching up here, we're stitching around the post section of that double crochet. So yarn over, go around the post of the next double crochet and stitch a double crochet. We're still stitching a double crochet. We're just putting it in a different place. And so what we're going to do is we're going to continue to repeat around one double crochet in the next five double crochets. So there's two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll stitch a post, double crochet post, around the next. And this is our repeat we're going to continue to do. One, two, three, four, five, and then we'll front post around the next double crochet. And like I said, we'll just continue working all the way around the other side. Five double crochets, front post in the next. I've stitched that all the way around. Five double crochets, front post, double crochet in the next. And you'll have six of those front post double crochets. And on the end here, after your last front post double crochet, you're going to have six double crochets. We don't want to put a front post right on the back of our stocking or it looks a little bit jumbled up. And so we'll have those five double crochets and then instead of stitching a front post, we'll just stitch a regular double crochet and join to our chain three. It just, I've tried it with the front post right there on the back and it just looks jumbled up. All right. Okay, and so that's that first row with our front post. Now we're going to stitch another row, only we're going to off-center our front post stitches. 
All right, so our chain three counts is our first, and we're going to double crochet in the next three. One, oops, there we go. So that gives us four double crochets because our chain three counted as our first. All right, now instead of stitching in this front post, we're going to stitch in the double crochet right in front of it. So it's going to be offset. All right, so now we'll double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And so because we've stitched a front post before that one, our next stitch that was a regular double crochet was in the top of our front post. So one, two, three, four, five, front post in the next double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll know you're doing this row right if your front post is the stitch before the front post of the previous row. We front posted on this row on this stitch and we did our front post on the stitch before that one on this row. So it's offset a little bit. By doing it this way, it's going to give it the appearance of a cable without actually having to do a cable. So one, two, three, four, five, front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet, or in the next double crochet. All right, so just to be clear, on this row, we only started with four. We front post double crocheted in the next stitch, and then we stitched five double crochets, front post, like we did on the previous row. But we're offset because we only started with four here. And we'll continue this all the way around this row. So I continued that, stitching five double crochets, front post double crochet, as you can see, it's offset from this one. This is my last. Here's my five double crochets, and then we're just going to double crochet in those last two. Again, I don't want the front post on the back where the heel is because it just gets too gapy there. <clears throat> or bunched up would be a better way of putting it. We're going to slip stitch in our chain three and chain three. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this row here. So we're going to begin with four double crochets along with our chain three. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to front post in the next double crochet. And so now you can see where we're even with this one that we did down here, where this is where we stitched the last row. Okay, and so one double crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, five and then front post in the next double crochet. And this is what's going to give us sort of our, mo our mock cable stitch. We front post down here in this stitch, we front post back here in this stitch on this row, and now we're back to front post double crochet on the same line or stitch, even though we're on a different row, of course. And see how that looks? So we're going to continue to repeat this around and finish off the same way we did with this row down here. I completed this row. And remember, we have six 
double crochets, join to the chain three and chain three. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat row 15 and row 16 for nine more rows for the length of the body of your stocking. So you'll alternate where you have a beginning of five, front post, five, and then your next row will be four front post, and then you'll go into the five and front post so that those front posts are alternated back and forth so it looks like a cable. So you'll continue to repeat row 15 and row 16 for nine more rows, alternating the rows. I've completed those nine additional rows and you can see how alternating those front post stitches gives it the appearance of a little bit of a cable. All right, now I'm going to change colors again so I didn't chain three, but if you're not changing colors, go ahead and chain three. I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to bring back in my white that I want to use for the top trim or band of my stocking. And now I'll do my chain three. Now for this row, this is row 26. All we're going to do is stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. No front posts on this row, just one double crochet in each double crochet around. And again, if you changed colors, make sure you do your chain three after your color change. I stitched one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. I joined to my chain three and I'm going to chain three. Now for this row, we're going to be alternating front post double crochets and double crochets. So here's our double cro or our chain three that counts as our double crochet. Then we'll front post double crochet in the next. Then we'll double crochet in the next and front post double crochet in the next. And this is going to give us a really nice looking band at the top of our stocking. Double crochet in the next and front post double crochet in the next. And we'll work this all the way around for this row. Double crochet and front post double crochet in the next stitch. Working all the way around and join back to our chain three. So I've completed the alternating front post and regular double crochets. And what we're going to do on the next row is just repeat what we just did. We joined chain three, and now we're just going to alternate front post double crochets with regular double crochets for another row for the band at the top of our stocking. Double crochet in the next and front post double crochet in the next, alternating all the way around. So I repeated another row of alternating double crochets and front post double crochets. I've joined to my chain three and I'm only going to chain one. And so what we're going to do for this last row is we're just going to place a single crochet in each of those double crochets around. One single crochet in each double crochet, working all the way around. And then we'll add that little loop when we get back around so we can hang up our stocking. So I've single crocheted in each of the double crochets all the way around. I'm going to join to my first single crochet and now I'm going to chain 12. <laughs> there we go. 
Now I'm going to come back into that first stitch and join with a slip stitch and cut my yarn. All right, we'll tie off. And now we want to make sure that loop's going to hold because it's going to hold our stocking and we don't want it to not be sturdy enough to hold whatever we put inside that stocking. So I threaded that yarn tail on my needle and now I'm just going to make a few stitches. It's going to weave the end in and secure. And so here is just our gift stocking. But I want to add that little tassel to give it just a little bit more fun. So I've got both the yarns here that I'm working on. And of course you can choose whatever colors of yarn you want for your tassel. You're going to need to cut two pieces of yarn about 10 to 12 inches long. And we're going to use those to tie the tassel. I'm going to use both my colors and I'm just going to wrap it around my hand about 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can decide to make a longer tassel or you can also make one that doesn't have as many wraps or one that has more. I just kind of like this size. All right, so I have those loops. I'm going to grab one of these strings and I'm going to put it through the loops and I'm going to tie a knot. All right, now I'm going to take these and this other piece of string that I have, or other piece of yarn, and I'm going to lay it across there about an, three quarters of an inch to an inch down, and I'm going to tie it. We want to make sure that's tied snugly because we don't want our yarn pieces to come out. There we go. Put finger on there. And then I'm going to give it another knot. All right. Now I'm not going to cut those because those will just blend in with my other yarn strings. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to cut those loops. All right. And then I'm going like I was doing there and just pull it down and just trim those edges. I'm actually going to trim it into my bucket here so I don't get that all over my work table. And I usually give it a shake and then look at it again. All right. So now my tassel's made and I'm ready to add it onto my stocking. I want to add the tassel up here next to the hanger. So I'm just going to grab my hook. I'm going to make sure I go through those stitches. Don't go through the holes between and pull one of those strings through. And then I'm going to come on this other side. Make sure I go through some of those stitches and not the holes because I want it to hold securely. And it's kind of up to you how droopy you want your tassel to be. I like to pull it all the way up. And then I'm just going to tie a couple of knots. Because I want my tassel to stay secure. I think it adds a fun little touch to this stocking. And of course, if you don't want to add a tassel, you could add some pom-poms or decorate with some appliques, buttons, or whatever that you want to, to dress up your stocking. So you can see with this one pattern, you can make lots of different styles of Christmas stockings. You can use the traditional colors. You can use brights. And you can use blues. And don't forget, you can always use red and green, right? <laughs> the whole point of this stocking is so you don't have to go and spend a bunch of money on yarn. Just go and check in your yarn stash and make some wonderful gift stockings. <laughs>